No, the right is I'm just trying to follow God. Like I said, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, but you're following it. Sir, I'm book. trying to be good. I'm trying to do good. That's what I'm trying to say to you. But at the same time, if you worship idols, God will become jealous and you will become very who angry. Is, who is he jealous of? He, he, he's God. God, God uh, becomes jealous. If who is he jealous of? But, but that's what that's what the, they teach, right? You either going to heaven or you're going to hell. Yeah, but God knows my heart, as I said, because like I said, like, you know. What does that mean? It's nothing huh? major. You beat the cool cave by presenting the facts and the evidence and no, no, you no, win no, no, the no, case. No, 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 The master teacher, the person you're referring to. Who is this master it, teacher? I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. So do you know or would you accept that these gods are extraterrestrials? <laughs> Greetings. Um, my name is Saken. I represent Wu Sabat, which is a culture of life that I prescribe to. Um, and most of you know me from Ask Us Anything or Know Us and Vision. And yeah, today I'm, I'm having the pleasure of speaking to someone else who I'm about to meet for the first time. Hi, my name is Webster. I'm James Linton. Um, I'm a UK reggae lover drop artist and backing vocalist, songwriter, performer, entertainer. Um, also, um, I am a Christian and um, I'm here meeting with this lovely gentleman for the first time. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, feel free to uh, ask me anything. So, um, my first question to you is, um, I mean, what do you think about Christianity? Well, Christianity is quite a wide subject. Um, mm. And the, the first thing that comes to mind when you, you said I'm a Christian mm. and what do I think about Christianity, I would have to be very clear on when you say you're a Christian, there's so many different people that say they're Christians, yeah, and um, you have so many different denominations, you know, Catholic, I mean, yeah, Seventh-day Adventist, yeah. Protestant, Jehovah Witness. Mm. Um, so what one would you say when you say you're a Christian and so, what does that mean exactly to you? I would say that um, I'm more Protestant, like I'm Pentecostal. So we believe in the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, but we believe in um, the emphasis of being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay. You know, um, so obviously um, after you give your life to Christ and all that sort of stuff, you know, you become baptised with the Holy Spirit and then, you know, you've got the water, um, immersed baptism. And do, do you know what I mean? You know, that's what we um, we we follow. I mean, so, what, as a Pentecostal, Pentecostal Christian. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and again, um, what I deal with is really about knowing. Mm. Um, I noticed you said that's what you believe. Mm. For me, um, there's a big difference between believing something and knowing something, whereas one is based on evidence, mm. and one is really just based on a belief system. You see, so um, when you say, what do I think of Christianity? Um, where does the word even derive from? Like, where, where does that word come from? As in what? Um, Christianity. Or you say you're a Christian. That's, that's the question right there. <laughs> yeah. You know why? The reason... <laughs> that's no, it's fine. It's because it's this is why we have these conversations, because sometimes... We have to get people to think because mm. the first time you come across that word mm. is in, um, in the book of Acts when it talks about, you know, we have found a Messiah mm -hmm. who's been interpreted the mm. Christ. And I, I'm, I'm asking you, is that where that word comes from in terms of when you say Christianity or... Well, yes. And also, um, if you also um, go back into... Um Certain um, prescription, prescription. Sorry, <laughs> prescription. <laughs> well, is, that, is that a medicine prescription? There's <laughs> <laughs> a scripture in um, Genesis as well. Um, there's also other stuff. Wait, oh, is it Genesis? Well, if, when you say that's what I'm saying, oh, Genesis John, doesn't say anything no, about, the about the book of about Christ. But it's book of John, somewhere in the book of John. But yeah, you see, that's why we will survive. The words are very important mm. because, you know, what we know mm -hmm. from studying mm -hmm. is that words are very powerful mm. and um, people use words all the time and not realising, you know, where they come from, what they mean, 
and what kind of energy they're invoking by using that particular word, mm. you see. So um, that's why we're like, okay, if you say it's in the book, mm. where is it in the book and where does it say what it says? Because it's easy to get somebody to believe something, mm. but to believe something doesn't mean it's true. Mm. You know, I can, I can tell you to believe in Father Christmas or believe in, you know, pigs can fly or anything. Mm. You know? mm. But does it make it true? Mm. Whereas when you're dealing with knowledge and dealing with facts, mm. there's an origin of how things come about. Mm. Yeah, this is why um, religions, they get you to believe or they say believe and believe and believe. And I'm like, OK, have you actually looked mm. up what the word believe mean? Mm believe or belief and I'm like when I looked it up it literally says accepting things you can't prove or mm. you know things you have no facts or knowledge about mm. so by that token a believer is just somebody that accepts things without knowing mm. yeah so for for me proof is very important the reason why not because you shouldn't have a belief because mm. anyone can have a belief and it's fine, but there's a level beyond belief, which is to know, because knowing actually is better than to believe in something. Because if I gave you like information about your health, for mm. example, and it wasn't true or it wasn't facts, and I just told you believe that mm. you've got cancer, mm. would you believe it? God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> Even when no. you said God forbid. <laughs> It's like, again, that's another word you've just brought up. Which, again, I will ask, who's, who's God? Which God? When you're saying God forbid, who are we talking about? The Most High, the one that, um, the, 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 the being that's protecting us. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that's very vague again. You say the being that's protecting us and the Most High. I can find the word the Most High in the Bible, mm. but it's a translation mm. from a Greek word called Anu, spelled A-N-O, wow. yeah. But the thing is, mm. if you study language, mm. you can see that um, vowels are interchangeable. Mm. So that Anu, A-N-O, mm. it's actually spelled A-N-U, mm. which is translated as the Most High, wow. which is really dealing with a Sumerian god mm. called, that's called Anu, which is translated into English as mm. the Most High. Now, when you said, God forbid, <laughs> it's like, okay, what are you saying he should forbid? Forbid um, 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 diabolical disease like cancer. And, um, do you know what I mean? Cancer and all that kind of stuff. I mean, nobody but, wants cancer. But, but the thing is, cancer is in the world. It's in the world, but you don't want to personally have it. I mean, I know people that personally had cancer. And no, I'm saying, it, why is it in the world in the first place? Well... Why is it there? Yeah, because yeah, you just said he can forbid it. So if he can forbid it, why is there cancer and all these diseases in the world? Because God, you say, has the power to do anything and has the ability to, as you did, <laughs> click your fingers <laughs> and it's gone. So why is there sickness, diseases and all these things in the world? You know what? I'm going to lie to you right here. Mm. Right? I do ask myself... The same questions. Yeah. You know, um... Does he hear you when you ask the questions? I feel he does. Does he answer you? Do you really see me? Um... I mean... <laughs> that's quite rude if he hears you and he doesn't answer you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Is he for, if, if he's there and he can hear you... And you're asking these questions and he's not answering you. I mean, like I said, um, God has, you know, um, given me my fair share of blessings. I'm not alive. And, you know, but at the same time, I still have questions about certain things. And, you know, um, I mean, I, I grew up in church and mm. all of that. You know, my granddad was a pastor. You know, my grandmother was a first lady. Like, do you know what I mean? I mean, what's the word I'm looking for? In other words, that um, I backslided from the church. Mm. So um, I've done church, I've done praise and worship, I've done it all, I've, I've done everything in church, you know? And obviously, um, because of obviously a certain lifestyles that I live, like, you know, I still party, I still drink from time to time, I don't smoke like that, but, 
you know, I enjoy myself and the music that I sing, secular music. They say, you know, um, I'm just like I'm in like two worlds, like lukewarm, one foot in, one foot out, kind of thing. Right. So you can't serve two masters, though. That's what they say in the Bible. Yeah, but at the same time. Um, and by that they mean you can't be of the devil's world and in God's world at the same time. Yeah, but would you like, say that lovers rock music is the devil's music? I didn't love? say that. I'm just saying no, what the Bible says that you can't no, serve but do two masters. Do you agree that, that that you like agree with them? No, no, wait, 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 before we get to mm. do I agree with them, because I don't even know who the them is, I'm just going by the fact that you said mm. you got one foot in, one foot out. Mm. And I'm saying that would imply that you're serving two masters. No, but I don't believe that is the case. But obviously, um, the church um, believe that I'm one foot in and one foot out. Because like I said, I'm singing love songs um, about two people in love. Jesus is love. Jesus is love. It says so in the Bible, Jesus is love. So It doesn't say that in the Bible. Yeah, but Jesus doesn't hate. I didn't say he. I didn't say he hate, but I'm saying it doesn't say Jesus is love in the Bible. Yeah, well, you cannot show me where it says Jesus is love in the Bible. Yeah, but um, and and you said something which mm. was because your dad and your granddad. mother, mm. your granddad, granddad sorry, yeah. were were in the church. Mm. You kind of grew up in the church, and more than likely accepted and followed what they followed. Yeah, but where that, in the Bible we, does it say that Jesus is not love? Because from the stories okay. that I've read... It doesn't, it doesn't even... The word Jesus doesn't exist in the Bible. Okay. So, meaning, meaning, mm, do you know why I say that? Mm. Have you read the Bible? I've read the Bible and I've seen Jesus' um, name in the Bible. I have seen right. the name. You've seen a translation of mm. the Bible that says oh, Jesus in the Bible. Mm. But what I'm saying is the, the, the original language of the Bible, which is what? Do you know? Um, is it Hebrew? Uh, um, uh, I heard it was Hebrew or something okay. like that. So, so depending on which book you're talking about, mm. if there's the New Testament, it's going to be Greek. If it's okay. the Old Testament, it will be Hebrew. So what I'm saying is if you've never read Hebrew or read the Greek, you're reading a translation that is telling you what they saying the Hebrew is saying or the Greek is saying. Mm. But if you yourself has never taken the time to study Hebrew, you wouldn't know that there are no J's or V's in Hebrew. So you wouldn't be able to make a word like Jesus in English. It's a translation from the word Jehovah, but they say Jehovah, mm. but again, there's no V's or J's in Hebrew. So it's really Yahuwah. The first part, Ja, mm. becomes Ja, and then the, the second part is Zeus. That's where they get the word, the second part of Jesus from G, ja, Zeus. Mm. becomes Jesus yeah, in English. So well, I wasn't being funny when mm. I'm saying, have you read it? Because a mm. lot of people will read the translation mm. and there are many, many translations. And with different translations, they made a lot of mistakes. Yeah, but back to the question of Jesus being loved and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Where does it show that it does not say that in the that he that he is not love? I mean, that's what I'm, no, I'm saying. It doesn't say what you mm. said that Jesus is love. Okay. It doesn't say that. No, but he does but, things that, you know, that... <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be loving and practice mm. love. Because yeah, he said, mm. he, he did say, like, you know, love your neighbours, you love yourself. But mm. what I'm saying, people will say things that they say it's in the Bible when it's not in the Bible because they haven't actually studied it. They're just going by what other people are telling them it says. Yeah, but he's healed the sick. He's um, fed the five thousand. Um, um, he's he, he's done a, he's done a lot of good things in the Bible. I didn't say he hasn't done a lot of good no, things. No, but I'm just saying it's it, it, it's been written. It's written. Like, yeah, but just because something is written doesn't like what I'm saying is there are many people who heal the sick or feed the sick every day. Now today, is there? Yeah. Well, a lot Anybody of, can do that. There's a lot of like you know um, doctors heal people all the time or. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, but the point I'm mm. making is, mm. if you're based, you're, mm. you're basing um, your Christianity on a quite a, a quite a weak foundation, if you don't know the origins of how it comes about. No, but as I said, I'm in my defence. Yeah, I backside it, and I haven't really found the time to kind of study the word. Right. Like that, right? Um, but God knows my heart. 
I believe God knows my heart and he knows that I believe, you know, because I, I, I believe that, you know, there is something and someone there guiding me alongside my ancestors. Okay, so again, you, 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 there's a lot of doubt in what you're saying because you keep saying, I believe. Remember what I said <laughs> at the beginning? You believe it, but you're saying someone or... You see what I mean? It doesn't sound very clear when you say someone or something because that could be anyone or anything. Okay, well, I know that there is a higher being out there protecting me. How do you know this? Because I feel it and I know it. I know. Right, but a feeling is based on your emotions. And anybody can feel something and I've say... I've had many near misses. Near misses? Yeah. What I'm, does that mean? You've like, had you many know, near misses. I'm, I mean, you know, um, I've, I've had many near misses. Like, you know, where, you know, one time, you know, I thought I was going to die. This happened last year sometime, actually. And, you know, it, it wasn't the doctors. It was, it, it, and it was, it was, it was, it was God. <laughs> I it, thought it was God. It was God. It was God. But you don't know who or what this God is. <laughs> So how can you be sure or certain it was God? Because you also mentioned your ancestors just now. Well, so so what, who are your ancestors? I then? am the descendants of them, so of course the, the spirits are going to be there, you know, protecting... Right, the, so the, how do you know it wasn't them then that were helping you? Well, because they were human beings just like us. They're just, but they're, not, no, they're no longer here, are they? They're no longer here, but So they're, they're no longer they're human beings, right. So I'm saying, how do you know that it wasn't them in the spirit form that were helping you in that? near miss that you mentioned. And how do we know that it wasn't God instead of them? <laughs> because, because you know your ancestors, you've confirmed them. They, 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 they that, existed and you saw and knew them before they crossed over. So you've confirmed that for yourself and you are the offspring of them. So you come from them, that's a fact. So you can prove that the fact that you're here is because they were here and you come from them. Mm. So that's the fact. But you can't prove the other one as you can prove that you're here because they were here based on their genetics and you are their offspring. So can I ask a question there? Yeah, sure. So, um, I mean, do you believe in life after death? What did I tell you at the beginning? I don't deal with belief. Okay, so... So it's about knowing. Do you, do you know about life after death? Of course. I'd like you to tell me about it. What would you like to know about it? Everything. <laughs> 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 do you know why I say? Do you know? Do you know why I say this? Yeah. I know because there's no death. Mm? There's no death because your energy, right? Mm -hmm. Energy cannot be destroyed. However, can be transformed. That's right. So that's how I know you don't die. You just transform from one state to another. So, where do you believe that people go after? Okay, after when they. Transitioning, right? If you like, sure. Um, again, I don't believe because you have to deal with evidence and facts. And as I've already explained, that energy transforms from one state to the other. No, so okay. I'm trying to where do the yeah, spirit you're, you're, go? I'm, when try, we're not I'm trying to answer yeah. the question. Okay. Right. So, depending on how much you know about mm. energy, mm. energy has different density, right. different levels, yeah? Mm. So the more dense things are, the more hard things are, right. that means they're slower in their vibration. And the higher the vibration, the more less dense they are, yeah? So when you transform from one state to another, you still exist, but in a different form. So for example, to make it clear, if you took ice, yeah. ice is a more dense form of water which is liquid right mm. but then you can heat up liquid and it becomes steam mm. and that's changing from one form to the next to right. the next and it ultimately goes back to mm. energy mm -hmm. so you as a being also are able to go through different realms mm -hmm. and exist on different realms where the physical body goes back to the ground and your spiritual body continues on and it lives in that realm as a spiritual being. You said before that like, your ancestors are living in a spiritual no, but world. Where do the, no, but where does the spirit go? That's what I'm trying mm. to explain to you. The spirits are just another level. Is there a hell? Is there heaven? You're asking me a lot of questions all at the same time. <laughs> I'm trying to answer. So as well as mm. the spiritual you, mm. if you have a soul, mm. you have a soul you, you have a mental being, 
you have an etheric being. These are different states of you mm -hmm. that exist on different realms, mm -hmm. even though you're connected to them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Your physical body being here is a lower vibration that has slowed down from the etheric realm to come here and you can go back the other way. And there are places, actual existence and places that are physical that you can go to as well beyond what you know as the planet Earth. Yeah, because this is also mentioned in the Bible, like Job 9.9, 9, Amos 5.8, mm. um, where people refer to the places like Octorus, Orion, Sirius, and they say mm. these are the many mansions. Mm. So Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Mm. These are the mansions. So these are actual places that you can go to if you know how. And when you basically translate, or as you <clears> say, transition, if you if you're um, developed enough, you can go to these places and continue your existence. Okay, wait, wait. So, the, so that explains the song um, that we used to sing in church, um, especially at funerals. Um, something about um, I'm going on right on. That's all I know. I'm going on right on to the city. Exactly. Where the mountains the city. are prepared for, or there for me, or something like that. Yeah, because yeah. the book of Revelation talks about a city okay. called what? Um, I can't remember on top of my head, but it makes sense now. Yeah. To an extent. Right. The crystal city is spoken right. about in the book of Revelation mm -hmm. as well. So again, this is another place that you can go to. Mm. But there are different places and without studying and like really researching, a lot of people don't know. They just, as I said, they'll believe and they sing songs, but they don't dissect them to break it down to, you know, make it make sense. So these different mansions, how many mansions are there? What, what kind of mansions are there? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so when I mentioned Job 9-9 mm. and they talk about Pleiades, they talk about Octorus, they talk about Orion, right. they talk about Sirius. These are what, do you know what those are? Mm -mm. Constellations. You know, when you look up into the stars, mm. you see different constellations. And there are literally millions, because there are billions of stars, and they are different constellations. They, they show you them in pictorial form. If you get a, a, a star map, you will see all of these constellations. Mm -hmm. And because the cosmos is so vast and it's constantly expanding, mm. it means that that you can't literally count them. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, have we covered reincarnation? No. Wonder, I mean, like I said, you're asking me questions. So what, what, when you say reincarnation, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you? Or what do you know of so, reincarnation? So um, my understanding, because um, obviously like a lot of people, um, especially in the music world, and mm -hmm. um, obviously a family has said to me they believe that um, I've been reincarnated and I somewhat believe it to an extent because um, I don't feel that I am the typical average 29 year old that you'd meet. Mm. Fact is why I've been saying that, um, I mean, I am young, but I'm very old. I have an old soul. Right. You know, um, I mean, like the music that I listen to. You know, um, I can tell you music, singers, when it was released, I can talk about from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, up to the 90s. I mean, I like a bit of some of today's music, and I don't. Mm -hmm. um, but I listen to it anyway, so I've got nephews and nieces, but I'm an old soul. And right, so what do you, what do you, again, I'm still not understand what you what mean I'm by reincarnation. That um, it's, I don't think it's normal for me to, um, know half the stuff musically that I know, even though um, my mum and that listen to it, but, you know, no one my age could actually tell you the artist or, you know, a lot of, like, the history behind it and all that sort of stuff. Whereas, like, if you ask me, I, I, I can. Do, do you know what I mean? Um, I know. To have a knowledge about music and artists and a lot of information regarding music... No, but it's the in-depth detail that I go into. Um, you no, know, no, I hear you. And I, hmm. I'm just still trying to understand what you mean by reincarnation. So that's what I mean. I feel like I've been here before. Okay. So reincarnation to you means that you've come here before. Like I was in those times when those music right. and that was going on. Right. So... Physically, like mm. you are today, mm. were you there back then, like this, exactly as you are? I feel I was. 
in the same body. Not in the same body, in a different body, different person. Right, but because that's what the word reincarnation... Like, same spirit, but different body, and you know? Right, so, so, so you believe that you died and you came back again? Yeah, yeah. You sure? <laughs> you don't sound sure. <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm trying to... Because what it is, in, in yeah. the religious world, the way they, people teach reincarnation... Mm. Um, depending on what religion you subscribe to, mm. not everyone believed that because the, the, you can't come back in the same body again. Meaning that when you die, your body goes back to the ground and decomposes, right? Mm. So you, it's not physically possible for you to come back in that same body. However, you've just mentioned something called a soul, mm. that you're, you're a different soul. Mm. So you're basically saying the souls can come back again. Mm. Yeah. And that's, that's something that when I was teaching you about the, um, mm -hmm. the different... You've dropped your pen. It's fine. Right. When you were talking okay. about um, the fact that they're diff I was saying they're different realms, that there's mm. a soul realm, mm. and, and, and you can, you know, come back if you don't make it all the way to going back to the ultimate um, destination of where you originally from. So you believe, so no, or... You know that you can come back here. Yeah, the 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 essence of you, the energy part of you that I was talking about, right. can be recycled in a different body. Yes. Okay. In your not just anybody though, but it's got to be in your family lineage or your bloodline, which can be vast depending on how far your family has spread or mixed in or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> There's a song called um, Love Train and um, Ain't No Stopping Us Now. Yeah. Um, the Shaka Khan. Or the, no, 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 no. I know. Um, um, Mac Fallon. Yeah, yeah. Mac Fallon Whitbread. That's the one. Yeah. Um, somebody tell me, sir, um, basically, that um, the master teacher wrote these songs. Mm -hmm. But um, my wife and all say, um, my wife and all. So, 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 so you do know about the master teacher? Well, um, I've come across the name, but Moa Noa, who is the master teacher, uh, why would call himself? Yeah, you said a lot of things, so let me... The master teacher, the person you're referring to... Mm, who is this it, master it, teacher? I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. Yeah. His name is Dr. Malachi Z. York, mm -hmm. yeah? The York is because he actually had uh, a group. Yeah. And he was heavily in the music industry uh, yeah. as known as, as an artist known as Dr. York. Yeah. Yeah. And as Dr. York, he wrote or co-wrote or ghost wrote, mm -hmm. right? Because you know you can write ghost. Yeah. Like a, a person who's in so a background. a ghost writer, yeah. a ghost writer. So he wrote a lot of songs because back in that time period, he was working with a lot of artists. And a lot of those artists used his um, recording studio or, you know, he co-wrote or ghost wrote a lot of songs with them. And not every song will have credit, he won't be credited for it, because right. as a ghostwriter, mm. he don't have to be credited for it. Yeah, so that's, and when we say who is he, he's more than just a recording artist. That was a period in his life when mm. he was an artist. He was actually here in England on Top of the Pops. Right. But he has many titles and names um, as a spiritual teacher. When we say he's the master teacher, mm. it's because he's a master at teaching. So and how, you how you know that is because mm. of the amount of books and knowledge that he has actually published right. and put out to the world. And he's the person that I studied a lot of his um, writings and I'm like a student of him. So, so do you call him Grandmaster as well? Yes. But what does, what does that mean? Because again, like I said, using words, um, God, do you know what the word, the God, the word G-O-D actually comes from masonry as well. And it's, it's the grand architect of the universe. That's what God means, or Gad. Mm. Yeah, because the word Gad is synonymous with God, as I said. All you have to do is replace the O for A, mm. and you get Gad. And this is where the word, when you're, when you're um, studying the Bible, for mm. example, you get like Shad, Gad, these are like, terms but yeah so the person who's responsible for 
putting the world together mm. because in the Bible they tell you that God created the heavens and the earth mm. in six days, right? Mm. And he rested on the seventh day. So the architect of the universe mm. would be the person people are calling God, but they don't realise that because, as I said, the word God can mean different things to different people in different organisations, religions, sex, etc. So, yeah. So, um... So, okay, so um, out of curiosity, so this um, Dr. Malachi that you met, Grandmaster, does he have any. Um, <laughs> sorry. What? Does he have any special powers? <laughs> well, well, the thing is, when you say power, um, yeah. when you say special powers, yeah. right, what one might consider, or back in the day, consider mm. to be special powers, mm. like you mentioned about what Jesus was doing, mm. magicians have done that today. David Blaine, um, you know, many, many. It, they're not really magicians, or when you say special, there's, some of the powers are not really that special. No, but it's you, just illusions. No, but, but, but I'm trying to answer mm. your question. So when you say special power, yes, it does. What do you consider to be a special power? That way he can make things happen. Anybody can make things happen. No, no, no. no you no. can make things happen. No, no, no. You can't make anything happen? I'm not happen. talking about make things happen. I'm talking about make things happen. That's okay, in, explain yourself. You know, like, you know, he can command spirits so make things happen like for example like you know um i don't know if someone has a court case they can you know he can you know make it not you know go in the other direction it goes in your favor okay who do you know that can do that i'm just asking <laughs> no but it's funny because you're asking a question but as if somebody you know can do that no no nobody can do this <laughs> no, I'm, no, no 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 i'll get to that i'll ask you so I'll... no no but i'm asking you has anybody <laughs> or do you know anybody who can do that <laughs> like i said like i just don't know if the grandmaster can do that if, if you okay well you're not that... asking my question though do you know anybody who can do that <laughs> that's because we both asked the question <laughs> no no i'm gonna answer it because the reason I, the reason <laughs> i'm doing that is yeah. because people will ask or say things mm -hmm. like for example people might say um, can he do this, can he do that? He can do many things. And what he can do, he has done and it's been documented and people who have experienced it are test will give testimonies of that, right? But my point is, it's like me saying, like I asked you at the beginning, if God can do anything, why doesn't he get rid of all the cancer and all the sickness and all the disease and all the things in the world? And, and that's God we're talking about. If God can't do it, why do you expect or think someone else can do it? It's like, why didn't Jesus save himself if he could do it from being crucified? Because he believed sacrificing himself would save us. Right, but, but he wouldn't need to do that if God can just stop him from dying and get rid of everything. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there is a lot of questions. I have a lot right. of questions. So, but... so um, again, like you said, the court case, that's a very low kind of like example because people, human beings, can beat court cases. It's not that, it's nothing How? major. You beat the court case by presenting the facts and the evidence and no, no, you no, win no, no, the no, case. No, 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 no. Sometimes... Right, did you know about the, the court case, the famous court case with, um, what's his name? Um... The basketball player, not basketball player, baseball player. What's yeah. his name? Um, the famous case with um, the one with Cochrane. I can't remember the. Mm -mm. You don't remember that? Mm -mm. Okay. The point I'm saying, there are lawyers that beat court cases every day. Yeah, but sir, so it's not a miracle. It's nothing major. To no, be no, able no, to... no, no, no. I hear you on that, but yeah. that doesn't exactly answer my question. Your question, my question being, is that yeah. whether or not when we put the facts and all that crap, that's beside the point. The point that I'm getting at, because sometimes the facts, right, is not always all that you need. Because you can put all the facts, like, to the judge or the jury or whatever you want to call it, right? Even though you know that you know that you was not the perpetrator, or what that be, you was provoked to do so. I'm talking from personal experience, yeah. right? You was provoked to do certain shit, sorry, for certain things, right? And obviously, um, do, 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 do you know what I mean? Because you acted... Out of self control, but you, no, sorry, what's the word I'm looking for? You acted um, unintentionally, but also to protect yourself from the person that was attacking you, and you end up going one step too further, what have you. And the person still ends up, you know, winning, you end up getting trouble, the other person also got free after 
he or she has provoked you. That's the point I'm getting at. So you you're see, not asking me a question though, because you're saying that if somebody provokes you and you do something, yeah, and then you get in trouble for it, yeah, and there's a court case coming up, yeah, court, and then and then what's you're saying that it's not your fault? It's not my fault, but still, anybody anybody can say somebody provoked them though. No, sir, we're going to different directions there. Can yeah. your grandmaster? Make the court case go in a different direction. If someone came to him and said, "Look, like I might be going to prison, could you make it go in my favor?" That's all I want to know. What I'm trying to say. No, no, to no. You, does he have the power listen, to do that? You're being, you're being, you're being quiet. It's bit, <laughs> Sorry, now, the, the, the vibration of the conversation is getting very silly and low. Right, Meaning no. that you can, if you're innocent mm -hmm. and you're not guilty, or something you did was unintentional. Mm -hmm. Not me personally. No, I'm right, just using anybody yeah. as an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you can, this is what I'm saying, that you can pray, yeah, mm -hmm. to your ancestors or to higher beings or supreme beings, and if they know or feel that you were provoked or you did something unintentionally, of course they can help you and assist you. But what my point is, people, you, you as a Christian will say, Jesus exists, God exists, and so why can you not pray to your God or to that Jesus to help you beat the case or not get, you know, sentenced. Because these are men. These judges that you're going to in front of are just mortals and men if you're saying you have a connection to a God or to a higher being like Jesus, etc., to help you. So why doesn't that happen in that situation? Why do, why do people say in God we trust when they go to court? But... It's on the money as well. It's on the dollar bill in God we trust. So the point is, which God are we talking about? Because if you trust in God, then God will be able to help you through whatever situation you're in. I hear you. So, um, to, so to that question, does your grandmaster... Our grandmaster or the master teacher helps us in many ways. But the thing is, the biggest help that you can get is you having the power to do it for yourself. So him giving you the power as making you realise that you are God, right? Because to you, the highest thing or form is God, right? So in the Bible, it says you are God. In, and, and if you're God, you should have the power, the ability to do anything for yourself. So he gives you that power by way of the knowledge. But does he perform magic? That's what I'm asking you. Well, it's magic, though. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. What you're calling magic is just illusions. Who do you know that performs magic? Nobody. That's what I'm saying. That's what I've just explained to you. What you're considering or calling magic, right? Do you know where the word magic comes from? What does it mean? Okay. Um, I'm um, You're not answering my question. Do you know where the word magic means or comes from? It comes from the word magi. M-A-G-I. Yeah, because with words, as I was, I was saying to you at the beginning, you can research the origin of words and how they come about. The magi were the, what they were called sorcerers or magicians. Okay. Yeah? And they were able to cast what people are calling magic, but they're illusions. Like I explained to you, you've got David Blaine and certain other people now that are illusionists that can do great things. And people will say, wow, it's magic, but it's just illusions. Okay, so that's your grandmaster cast spells. <laughs> I, I feel like have you watched, what, what do you know what a spell is this is what I'm saying you asked me a question about does your grandmaster cast spells which is in that which is in that you know, you know. but I'm saying like <laughs> you're, you're not even I don't think thinking about the question because to cast a spell is just using words and illusions and anybody that knows the secret of how to do that can do that so, so casting a spell is what the bible does to you by making you accept and believe things using spellings of words, right? That you believe all these things that don't exist or that can't be proven. You know what, sir? I, I still feel that to an extent that my question No, but I'm saying like you're, you're um, saying you're um, Christian. Yeah. You're asking me words like, can the Grandmaster cast spells? And I'm saying to you that a spell is just something that is used through words because how do you cast a spell? How would one cast a spell? Okay, so does he take part in occultism? What is that? 
You see, you can't say words and use words, and then when I ask you, what do you mean, or what is that, you um, don't explain to me, because that can mean many things to many different people. I don't know, like, um, you know, um, mix a lot of his practices with juju. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Do I know you? the words, but I'm saying, what do you, when you're using these words, you're not explaining to me what that is because it's based on belief. It's based on that something you have heard, right? Because you're saying obia. Okay, what is obia? Obia is um, something that people use to um, shag up people. To what? To shag up people, to mess people up. Right. Have you got any evidence or proof of this? Or is it just something you believe? I've, I've seen people get messed up by, by, by that stuff. What do you mean by messed up? I, 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 that, you, you know, um, the guy that um, decorated Broadwater Farm. Um, what was his name? Um, John Steely, his name was, I believe it was. Is um, it was actually um, a family friend, actually. And um, all of a sudden, he just became mad one day. He got into a conflict with um, a Nigerian um, family. He got in a feud with them. And um, it came to a point where he had to testify something. Um, the guy apparently said to him, do not go and testify, because if you do, you'll see what I do to you. And... He went to testify on the day, and straight after the court case or something like that, um, something was flashed in his face, and since then he was never the same again. That, that's just a story, and it's all based on belief, because there's no you haven't presented any evidence whatsoever to say that's what actually happened. Anybody can make up a story or think because if right, so you think that I can do obia or juju on you and it will have an effect on you and you believe that same way i believe in good and bad and you know what, what, what is good and bad <laughs> what do you mean no but I'm, these are these are very valid questions because you're asking me questions and i'm asking you questions because you're using words like good and bad so good is like for example yeah people that um you know try their best to um you know uh, to be good people and not to, um, you know, mess people over and all that kind of stuff. You know, that naturally you have love in their heart. Not right. just for where where did they else. learn to be good from? By just doing good things. And, so, you know. so you just know how to be good? No, but, uh, you know, you, you, have a, you have a conscience, I get me. And, you know, if you, if you have a good upbringing, I want that of you and all that kind of stuff. All right, let me ask you a question. Is, good, is God good or bad? God is neutral. God is neutral. I believe though he's gonna. No, wait, wait. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, God is neutral. Wait, no, so, God, no, hold on. God is good, right? But God is also a jealous God. So if you worship idols, God will become jealous and he will become very who angry. Is, who is he jealous of? He, he, he's, God, God uh, becomes jealous. If who he, is he jealous of? Of us. If he, God is jealous of us. No, in other words, if you worship idols, because. Who created the idols? Man. <laughs> so God is jealous of man and man created an idol but God allowed man to create the idol so that yeah, but, no, no, you no, no, worship but he, no, but he gave you free will no he didn't no he didn't <laughs> because if he gave you free will right why do you get punished for making choices like you said you got one foot in one foot out but you get punished or the church or the bible or Christianity will tell you that you're sinning for doing Certain things that you do. You said you're you're in the world, and you do certain things. No, you backsliding. You said you backslide. What's backsliding? Means that well, I go back to worldly things. Worldly things. Yeah, but, but God created the worldly things. Yeah, but no, but look, I was pushed by the church. Yeah, you were pushed by the church. <laughs> the church itself pushed you. How did the church push you? And this is this is this is interesting. <laughs> Please explain to me how the church pushed you. <laughs> just is this a way? <laughs> the church pushed you to backslide. Yes. <laughs> I, think, I think this is probably one of the funniest conversations we've had. Hold on, well, wait, please, hold on. Yeah. Wait, my chest, wait, hold on. Wait. I, no, well, <laughs> church, you know, it's you. Hold on. So when I say the church, Pushed me. I'm talking about like, the people in the bloody church, like the like, people in the yes, church, like right. the, you know the, the the deacons, the you know the other holy than thou Christians. Holy you know? than thou Christians. Yes. What does that mean? The ones that are so holy, we don't do anything wrong. Like 
oh, we we are God centered, and you know, oh, no, right. I don't. So how did this. they push you to backslide? They 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 um. So you, they kept judging me, like I mean, and you know, just judging me for everything I do, you know, but, um, you know, the way that I sing, and they said, oh, but you know, you're not really singing for good sound. You're singing like worldly music when you're singing. So they, they by judging you, they pushed you to go and do bad things. So you're blaming it on them, <laughs> or not yourself. <laughs> what bad things did you do? I mean, you don't have to go into no, detail. Not bad but things, like, but I mean, like for example, were you calling backsliding? Like I've um okay so I've in the church I've told um I've told a pastor to f off in church. Right. He just came out. Right. Where is that from though? Where did that come from? Yeah. That that was it. It was building up. Like you know, it was it, it was just getting a bit too much on there, and they caught me on a bad day, and I just said, you know what, right? They caught you on a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, you're not in control of your own actions. That's what you're saying. This is what religion teaches, that Jesus can forgive you for your sins, which means that you can do anything you want, and as long as he forgives you, you're all right. So people can sin all day long and for years and years and years, and then when they just say, I'm born again, they think all their sins are forgiven, and that's it. Now they're going to heaven. Do you actually believe that? Um... If you genuinely are sorry for the stuff that you've done and you are genuinely trying to change and genuinely mean what you say and do, then yes. So do you go to church now? Every couple of months or every six months. And, and would you say you follow the example of Jesus? As I said from the start, I'm not the perfect Christian. I backslided, so um, I don't think... Um, God forgive me. If I was to die right now, right, I don't think... I would be going to heaven right now, put it that way. So, so where would you be going? I, I don't know. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's what, that's what the, they teach, right? You're either going to heaven or you're going to hell. Yeah, but God knows my heart, as I said, because like I said, like, you know... What does that mean? When people, a lot of people say God knows my heart. As because if, I'm not... I'm, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> just me. I'm not... I, I'm just trying to make sense of what you're saying. This is where the difference is between... Believing and knowing. Okay, do you, uh, you know what? Can I be real? Please. Like, I am not a messed up person, right? But who defines so, what a messed up person no, is? What is a messed up person? I can define myself. Like, I'm, no, but you just said you're not a messed up person. No, but let me okay. get what I'm coming Sorry, from. So, go ahead, yeah. I am not a messed up person. I, I'm, 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 uh, who knows? I'm a good person. I, I will give. I will help. I will sacrifice myself to help somebody else. I'm that kind of person. I've done it many times. You know, I've been, you know, I've been stabbed three times. So, yeah. you know, just jumping in in the middle of just to save somebody. Right. You know, so it's it's one of the ones. I'm that kind of person. I'm 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 good at heart. I'm only messed up if you. And it all depends on what you do. Cause I'm, I'm a lot older now. When I was younger, right, I, I I was really bad. You know, I'm gonna be fighting next year. Like, you know, I'm too old for certain things. I'm I'm you know, but. If you if you push me, the the the, the beast, the, the devil me will, will awake. The I, devil, I mean, but it, the devil will awake. Yeah, but it depends. It depends what you do. I mean, I say depends. It could be, for example, like if you um mess with my mum, or family members that that I that that I care for that means a lot to me. They're close to my heart, like you know my my sister, my brothers, you know my mum. As I said, you know my grandma. Those are only people that I care about my family, but. My immediate family, that's my immediate family, and I, I will die for them. Right. You know, okay. so you'd have to you know, do something like that. What, what did you mean when you said the devil was awake? I, 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 I may do something that I, that I don't want to do. So you're the devil, is that what you're saying? I'm not saying I'm a devil, but, you know... you said the devil would awake, as if... You know, I will have devil tendencies, and I, I won't think until after I've avenged you for, for what you've done to and then and then, and then that would be considered a sin, right? Well, yes, but it is what it is. So then you would go to hell for that? Then so be it. That's my, that's, you know, my, my so family. So you believe there's a place called hell that you go to and you believe there's a devil? Yes, because, um, you know, I love God and yes, I know... Why does God need you to love him? No, let me just... 
Like, do you know what I mean? You know, the Bible will say, a lot of people say, oh, you know, turn the other cheek and leave it to God. I love God, but look, at them day, God is busy. There's too many God, God is busy. No, no, no. <laughs> There's too many goddamn people in this world, right? For God. You, who are you and who is me for God to just come and just deal with my matters right now? Someone has just messed with my mum, God forbid, but someone's just messed with my mum. I, I need justice now. I don't want the police just because all they're going to freaking do is throw you in jail for a couple of years or so, and then you come back out. And, you know, okay, I've done my time. That was a pass. Absolutely hell no. So what would you consider that should be done? You need to be punished in the same What's, way that yeah, you've inflicted... Um, so you, you believe an eye for an eye? Two for yes. Right, not so, turning but, over cheek? No. To a certain extent. I, I turn the cheek, um, but it depends on what you do. For example, um, you know... Um, Youngsters of today, if you tell youngsters to go and suck their mum, they want to come to you with a knife and a gun. With me, you can tell them to go and suck my mum all day long. Oh, your mum's a bitch, your mum's this. So you can say what you like. I don't care what you say about my mum. But you put your hand on me or you put your hand on my mother or my family, my immediate family, as I said earlier on, you, you better kill me. Or it's better, they don't tell me about would, it. Would you say that that's Christ-like? No, that but... Behavior? No, but... So you don't read... So when you said you're a Christian... To a certain extent. Okay. You're Christian to a certain extent. Yes. Okay. So how do you define what extent you get you go to? What do you mean? What I'm saying is, like, it depends on what things, kind of Christian you are, because they're bad Christians and they're good Christians. I do all things. To be a Christian doesn't mean that a person is really following Christ. To be honest, as I said, I don't think that Because that's am, what it means, isn't it? You know, a fully devoted Christian, but I know at heart, I'm more Christian than a lot of people that actually go to church that are meant to be holy than thou. Because I don't believe in um, stealing off your own, and a lot of them in church do it. Um, I don't believe in, um, you know, going off with somebody else's um, ex-husband, especially if you and a person was friends, and vice versa. Do you get what I'm saying? And, you know, um, I've grown up in church, and I've seen a lot of that. I've been judged, right? I'm sorry, but I'm someone to be real, like, you know, God forgive me, I'm not throwing shade, but I've been judged for, you know, the music that I sing, the kind of people that I hang around with and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, I've seen a pastor marry, um, marry off a young lady, right, in the church to um, a very well-known comedian, right, that also went to my church, right, and he was also friends with that same lady that he's married to right now, first um, boyfriend. They were doing whatever they were doing in the church and the pastor allowed it to happen. And still yet, right, you as a pastor don't see that that is wrong. Mm? But this, so, what, this is why we say that religion and church mm -hmm. breeds ignorance. Of course it does. And I'm not going to lie to you, right, even though it's not really... I'm angry, not for what um, the guy did to... Um, you know, A, I'm not calling names, but, you know, I'm angry at the fact that I've done a lot less, right? And I got chastised till I couldn't get chastised anymore. You people allowed this one to happen inside the church. And, well, like, do you know what is it? Like, so, is so, it one rule for one, one rule for the other? But then God is, God is there, right? God is there, but God did nothing about it. So, God, why didn't you do nothing about it? Why, why did this? Why was this allowed? Right. These are, the, but like you're asking and speaking to him. Why do you even say it's a him? Hmm. I don't know. That's a, I don't know. Right. This is what we're saying that religion, not just Christianity, mm -hmm. but obviously you said you said you're a Christian. That's why we're having this conversation, right? There are many questions that you may have mm. that will never get answered in the church or in, in, in religion because if you really do study religion, it's man-made. Mm. It's men that are controlling a lot of what people are assuming and calling God because mm. it's about a power structure and you know it goes all the way to these beings that people are considering or calling God. And this is where Wu Sabbat it's about teaching you the facts so that you do know and study and realize that mm. people are passing themselves off and pretending to be of God, mm. pretending to be 
righteous and truthful, etc., etc. Lies. But, but it's, yeah, because belief, the word belief, when belie, you can see the word lie in the middle of it. A lot of it is based on lies. You know, I've also realised as well, and this is something that I never really questioned, but, well, I've questioned to myself, I'm not really asked out. Mm. Why don't, like, you know, I realise pastors don't really preach much about revelation. They don't really touch the revelation That's that right. much. They're scared of the book because it's, it's like they say, it's a, word of, it's a word of prophecy. It's about, it deals with the end of the world and the judgment and things like that. What pastors do best is pass the bucket around the church. They pass the bucket. That's what the pastors do. Mm. They're, they're about money. They're about looking good, sounding mm. good, and not allowing themselves to be questioned. Mm. Because like you say, if you were to stand them and let people ask them questions, you will find out a lot mm. of the times that most of them don't actually take the time to really study the word of what they consider to be the word of God. It's true. And so by, by putting them on the spot, they will say you're blaspheming. They will say you're the mm. devil. They will say you're an infidel. Mm. They, will, they will start to turn it on you because mm. they don't want the spotlight on them. Mm. Because unfortunately, a lot of them have become motivated by money and the devil and the world, the worldly things. Mm. And they're not teaching real spirituality and real, the essence of what, you know, the people they consider to be righteous like Jesus were teaching. Mm. They, they teach in a completely new way which has nothing to do with the word. And that's why we say the words are very important because it says in the beginning was the word, mm. right? So the question is what beginning and what was that word, you see? Mm. Because when you start to break down the words, that's when you get the meanings mm. of what the word is actually saying. And it's not just about a word because words build up sentences mm. and then the sentences build up paragraphs. The mm. paragraphs will build the chapters and the chapters build the book, which we call the Bible or mm. the Quran or any of these religious books. But if you don't know the word, the true word of what is being said, you know, mm. you get lost and you get into what we call the spell because mm. the spell is casted through the spellings of the words. So, in, for example, mm. they make you think there's one God, but then in the language it says Elohim, not one. And it's a plural. That's why it says, let us mm. create man in our image and in our likeness, you so see. I've got one question I always want to ask as well. And sure. So, uh, I mean, uh, 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 so how do you, okay, hold on. Where does it say in the Bible that you must not give blood? I mean, I know you're going to say, where does it say in the Bible you can, but I want to know where does it say in the Bible you must not give blood. So if you, one of your nearest and dearest, right, is dying and you are the blood type to save that person, mm. Why would you let the person die? As, as I'm, I'm, no, no, the question I'm going to, the reason I'm asking because Jehovah's no, Witness. Exactly, yeah, I was going to yeah. say that's not, we yeah. don't teach that. Mm. That's, that. That's a Jehovah's Witness. That's another denomination of Christianity. Because I disagree now, and I despise that. Right, but this is why there's so many denominations because mm. the Jehovah, the one, the word Jehovah mm. doesn't even make sense. Right. Secondly, the word witness doesn't make sense. <laughs> let me explain say? why. Because, like I explained before, mm. J's and V's do not exist in the Hebrew. So mm. you can't make up a word like Jehovah. Right. Because it's actually a mistranslation of the word Yahuwah. Because the J's in the Hebrew would be a Y and the, and the V's would be a W, right? Mm. The second thing about being a witness, mm. you mentioned about going to court. Mm. What does a witness do? Give evidence. A, a, right. A witness gives evidence on behalf of somebody. Mm. So for you to say you're Jehovah's witness, mm. it's like Jehovah committed a crime mm. and you're now going to provide evidence as a witness on behalf of Jehovah. You can't because if Jehovah is supposed to be God and he's supposed to be all knowing, all wise, all right and exact, mm. you can never be his witness because we are saying the word witness, like I explained, right? Mm. So Jehovah Witness is just, like I said, you mm. have the Catholics, you have the Protestants, mm. you have Seventh-day Adventists, mm. you have the Protestants, you have the Anglicans, you have, um, like you said, Jehovah Witness, mm. Pentecostal. Each one of them became a separate entity because of they believe something different to what other people believe, mm. you see? So like you say, scientifically, Mm. It makes sense that if somebody needed blood or needed mm. help, genetically, you will help them if they're of your 
genetic like, yeah. your heritage because the the match is going to be more likely to come from your mm. family mm. but they don't believe that but obviously that's different from just taking anybody's blood because they're saying you don't know what's in the blood and the spirits in the blood so if you take blood from a foreigner or, or a murderer or somebody else who's got you know um, bad spirits or things in the blood then it's going to come over to you so do you want to take on the DNA of other people so everyone has a position but Wu Sabat we deal with actual facts and deal with sciences and deal mm. with things that make sense so it will be down to the individual at that precise moment based on that situation whether or not you know they will make that decision because at the, t at the end of the day, you are the God that will make that decision. Mm. Yeah, so you'll have to ask Jehovah Witnesses why they do what they do. And I've asked, but they've never really answered and said that it was not in the Bible. Yeah, like that's why we <laughs> come away from religion because mm. a lot of religious practices are just opinions mm. of men and people mm. that say, we think we should do this. And because enough of them agree to do that, mm. they get together and then they say everybody else is wrong. Mm. And this is religion, regardless of what type of uh, flavour it is. So, um, I mean, this whole... Alright, so this, I'm going to go into something else now. Yeah. I mean, what do you feel about this sex before marriage stuff? What do I feel? Mm. You see, the thing is, a feeling, that's what I said to you before, is based on emotions. People can say, I feel this, I feel that. But if you subscribe to a religion and you subscribe to a book that governs that religion, the question should be, what does your book say or what does your God okay, say Okay, so the about Bible it? says, right, right, thou shalt not have sex before marriage and all that sort of stuff, right? Right. But at the same time, right... <sighs> It does, we, where, where does it actually say that? Well, fornication, isn't it? Fornication is wrong. That fornication is too... That's what I'm saying. These people misinterpret <laughs> words. But to ask, answer the question, mm. I talk for Wu Sabat because mm. that's what I represent. Mm. Wu Sabat is a culture. Mm. Now, there are reasons why you do something. Yeah? Obviously, you're more purified if you keep yourself chaste and don't mix with different people before marriage and take on lots of people's DNA and take on, you know, different elements and things from other people. Because then when you marry or get into a relationship with someone, all those personalities are within you and you're going to exchange bodily fluids with the other person. Right. So it does make sense, mm -hmm. right, in our culture, mm -hmm. we don't teach, we don't have, like, boyfriends and girlfriends. Because by the time a person is at the point where they're ready to, say, get married and settle down, if they've mixed, mixed with lots and lots of different people by way of boyfriends and girlfriends, <laughs> then they've taken on a lot of these negative or positive personalities. Okay, so in your culture, it's the same in no sex before marriage then? Yeah, that would be okay. the best, uh, best situation. But, but what some is, of you do it anyways. People are going to do what they're going to do. But in the best possible no, but some scenario... Some people in your culture do what they do. do okay, it. what I'm saying is, mm. Wusabat is open to everyone, Yeah. right? And obviously, depending on when you come into Wusabat, mm. you may have already defiled yourself in that way. Mm -hmm. Had boyfriends, girlfriends, mm. married before, whatever. We're not judgmental because, mm. obviously, you're going to make decisions based on where you're at right now. Mm. However, when we're talking about young people that we're grooming as they're growing up... Mm we would teach them how to be the best they can be and how to come to un a union and produce offspring that's going to be more advanced or in terms of our legacy going forward. You see what I'm saying? It will make more sense. Because for me, I mean, I'm not saying that you should be reckless and all that, but in other words, like, I'm into cars. So before I buy a car, I'd like to test drive it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah. comparing... I hear what you're saying so, and I get where you're coming from. With sex, for me... I have to, you know... But it depends on who's teaching you about sex. So there's an the art of sex and there's a the science of sex. People, like you say, you're saying you're not teaching somebody to not be reckless, but at the same time, if there are no, diseases... Not, I'm saying I, I'm not saying you should be reckless because yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, I'm agreeing with you mm, and I'm saying, but mm, there are diseases, diseases that, that will kill you. I'm aware of that. You know what I mean? You can get AIDS and Oof. all kinds of stuff, right? So being experimental or, like you say, like... You can't compare a human 
mm. you know, being a woman, which is actually a sacred feminine mm. to a car, right? But that's, I know what you mean by the analogy, but this is what gets people into trouble. No, but what I'm saying is, I'm aware of all of that, but for me, like I said, like, you know, um, I've been, I was in a relationship for, I don't know, four years, mm. and the person was good, but the sex wasn't. And I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, it, it, it was, it, it was like, you know, I stayed because of love, but deep down I wasn't happy. Right, but what I'm saying is, you, you, <laughs> are you going in, is the priority in a relationship sex? Because when you start to look at no, other things... No, the priority is about, you know, right. what the person can bring to the table, we both can bring to the table to help better each other. That is my goal. You know, right. I don't care about looks and all that stuff, but at the same time, I do believe that sex has a big part to play in it, because, like I said, outside of all of that, right, we need to have a union and, a, and you know, a, a, a bond, if you know what I mean. And, you know, if we're genuine other things, but not genuine the bedding, for me, that's a big problem. Because I'm not yeah, a teacher. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, depends on you're putting sex as, as a very high priority when there are other reasons. In fact, in a biblical sense, the, the whole point of sex is for procreation. Mm -hmm. It's not just to, you know, just have fun. Although you can, but at the end of the day, it's all about are you using um, your your mental, right? For example, are you familiar with what a sapiosexual is or sapiosexual? I've heard the word in terminology. Okay. Do you know what it means? I'd like you to explain to me. Sure. Mm. So it's when you're getting together with somebody mm. based on intelligence, mm. yeah? Like demisexual as well, right? That to do with you have a deep connection and a deep feeling with, mm. with someone, right? So... Um, when you get together, if the purpose of you getting together is to produce offspring or for procreation, right. it becomes a more, you're using your intelligence as opposed to the physical. Right. Because sex is one of the lowest vibration on the planet. Mm. And this is why it's used against many people, because the world pushes a lot of sex. Yeah, Everything mm. is based on sex and lust. And this is bringing your vibration as a being on a, to a very low level. Mm. This is why your your sexual organs, when you look at the chakras, mm. yeah, what people call it's chakras. Unbalanced. Right. It's because the red is the lowest vibration because mm. it's based on desire and I want. And, you know what I mean? I'm, mm. And I'm saying if you're a being that deals with being a sapio or a fact you're sexual, you're dealing with somebody who's... Um, coming together with somebody else based on intelligence or based on a deep connection and feelings and you would think about mm. it's sex just like most people it's just a graf instant gratification of just like i said lust mm. and desire mm. and often that can then produce children mm. but when you understand the science behind it you're mm. pulling in energies right from higher realms and you can be bringing forth children that are bringing, for lack of a better word, mm. that disagreeable or devil seed. Mm. And then when these beings come on the planet and they're creating the murders, the rapes, and all the mm. horrible things on the planet, people say they're evil or they, they, they worship the devil. But where mm. does this come from? You see, this is where you're bringing in entities and beings onto mm. the planet. And, and if you're using sex as a means by doing that, you should mm. really be more responsible about what you're doing. It's mm. not just going to a nightclub or going to a party, meeting someone. Mm. You have no knowledge of their genetic makeup or what they've, you know, mm. um, partaken, and then you just mix with them, produce a child. Now this child comes out, you're not even a good parent mm. because they're just renting you for a time. And then mm. they go on to be who they are and they can do, so we bring murderers and all types of people into this world because mm. we're not using sex in the way it was designed for to bring about people that are going to be responsible, you know, people in society. No, but religious people, right, they talk about sex as if sex is so bad. Like a taboo. Mm. And mm. it's like, you know, I mean... I know a lot of them are, you know, um, you, you know... Only, only, it depends what they're reasoning for. If it's about what I've just explained, like, why is it bad? You can't just say something is bad. You've <laughs> got to explain why it's bad, you see. I mean, I've been in church, yeah, right? And I've heard, like, a big middle-aged woman, like, you know, in her late 50s, early 60s, referring 
to your husband. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, go on. As daddy. <laughs> As daddy? Yeah, I'm not yeah. like... <laughs> Sorry. Why, why do you find that funny? <laughs> But what's, I mean, I'm saying, like, what, what's the real, like, what do you want to get to? Get to the no, real it's, it's the way point. it came out. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's so wrong. But you know, a lot of people in the church refer to Jesus as they being married to Jesus. No, but, Big women, like, No, I know, church, I, I know, I know. They I, I say know. they're married to Jesus, who doesn't even exist <sighs> physically. How can you be married to Jesus. Married to the Spirit? Yeah, married <laughs> to the Spirit. No, but, I mean, it's just a whole fact of, like, you know, oh, Daddy, like, you know, it's, just, it's just the way she said it. it. It was just at the time in church. Yeah, but what's, what's their, whatever they do in their life, in their bedroom, <laughs> how is that your business? It's like, not my business, but you just that you had to put it out there in the church. Is that like, being judgmental? Well, I wouldn't say, well, well, no, no, but uh, there's just certain things that like, I'm a singer, right? And I wouldn't portray myself sexual on stage. Like, you know, I mean, I've done a song um, years ago and it was about sex and I don't perform it. And a lot of people ask me why. Because I, I don't know what came over me at the time in the studio when I sang it. And when I wrote the song, it was actually about somebody, actually, that I liked at the time. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't... But then the music it. business, is that's what I was saying to you about. All day push, all day long is sex and the music videos and the music most of the most of the songs are about i love you mm -hmm. i hate you you left me you came back or i'm leaving you i'm coming back that's most songs are based on sex because they know that sex sells and then on top of that you have like i said the music videos have become more and more pornographic they push a lot of sex because mm -hmm. like i said there's an agenda to help bring about by you know, the sexual act, these entities or beings that are coming here with no real spiritual purpose or no real, like, you're not coming here to do something of significance. Mm. It's just literally enjoy yourself, materialistic things, have sex, have money. And now you see what's going on in the news with a lot of these music industry people mm. and the kind of perversions and the things that they, they, they get up to. Yes, and, like Diddy, and, like, you know, oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. Like, you know, we're, I, I, I really do feel that um, we're living in some serious time of revelation right now and Hollywood is about to come to an end. Right, this is why you mm. ask, why don't the scripture, the, the pastors and these guys talk about the book of Revelations? Because the book of Revelations, um, according to them, mm. is dealing with end times, mm. is dealing with what they teach, most religions teach that there's going to come a time, mm. yeah, the time where there will be an end, you know, um, and um, Jesus is going to come back or, <laughs> you know, like, they basically say, when the truth comes, mm. all false things shall perish. Mm. Yeah, perish means they're going to be... Gone, wither like the grass. Right. So if that's the book of Revelation that's talking about these things and... Some people are going to be saved and mm. some are not going to be saved. Then they have to, you know, look at themselves as well. Am I teaching? Because even it says there will be many false prophets and many people that are going to come mm. saying they are of Christ. Yeah. Mm. The only people that come saying they are of Christ are Christians. Okay. So when a person transition, yeah. Right. Um, what is the best way that they should be laid to rest? Cremation. According to who? I am just want to know, in general, cremation yeah. or being buried. I mean, personally, I don't feel it's right to be cremated. What, yeah, I but that's your be feeling. Cremated. That's your feeling, though. What I'm saying is, it's not about how you feel. It's what, this is why Wu Sabat deals with, when you do something, what's the reasoning behind it? What's the science behind okay, it? Okay, would you want to be cremated? Yes. Why? As, in this day and time. Why? Because if you understand that life is in the blood, right? The blood is, is in the marrow, which is inside the bone, that you are attached to your physical body, yeah? Your spirit is attached in the blood and attached to the physical body. It takes a long time for your body to decompose, right? On top of that, you're put into 
a coffin, which is a lot of the times made with, you know, very um, hard wooden material that takes a long time to decompose. So you're trapped within that coffin and trapped within a grave, which often is cement is put on it. So your essence and your being is still here when you're supposed to be going back. So by your essence not being trapped in a physical body here, when you cremate, that goes back to energy. Remember what I was saying before, that your energy goes back. And in ancient times, and depending on your culture, different cultures would um, dispose of the body in different ways. In ancient times, in ancient Egypt, you, you know, they had something called the canotic jars, and your major organs were taken out, and you were embalmed. Mm. But in today's society... Do they still do that? Yeah, they used to do that. They Some people still, still do, do that if they know how. And um, but now there's a lot of organ harvesting as well, right. where people, like you were saying, if somebody needs a, a liver or they need a heart or they need a lung, they will, they can harvest your body and take those. And then that is still here, trapped here within somebody else's vessel. Mm -hmm. So to avoid all these types of things in this day and time, because you're not entirely sure of what is taking place with your body. And the fact that you don't want to be trapped here, and then you could be roaming the planet as a disembodied spirit, mm. because you ha you're, you haven't built up enough, um, for lack of a better word, energy to travel back, you'll be stuck here. Mm. And you'll be a, a ghost roaming around until you're able to be freed to then move on to go to where Christians call heaven. Mm. If you accept or believe there's a place called heaven and hell. Mm. Mm. Do you believe in heaven? I do. And so when you die, people go to heaven? Um, it depends. Um, it depends on the life that you lived. And All right, let me ask you a question. So different people at different stages in their life and different ages. Mm. So a baby, a young man or woman, an elder an old man or woman, mm. if they all died mm. at, at the same time, mm. are they all going to go to heaven and, and then live there forever? And will they remain at the age at which they died? So a baby will remain a baby, young people remain young people, but older people. Children are innocent, so I believe that they will transition into... Did you get my question, though? Would the f different people remain the same when they get to heaven? In a spirit form, yes. So you're, you're a spiritual baby and a spiritual person and <sighs> a, a spiritual elder? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Because that know. always is a very confusing thing mm. because if everyone remains the same as they died, mm. that means you're going to have a million babies crawling around in heaven, a million elderly people, maybe some sick with a walking stick, and no, but, what's everyone doing in heaven? No, but when you go to heaven, there is no more sickness, pain or sorrow. Yeah, but you don't know that because you've never been there. That's what it says. Okay, <laughs> but how can you have... Okay, if you don't... If that's what I'm basically saying. If you're not going to be sick, mm -hmm. but you're a baby or you're mm -hmm. an elder, and you're going to remain the way you were, or you're going to... You don't have a body, or you have a body when you get to heaven? No, have a body, but... Um, I do believe, I, I believe it's about believing. I feel, I, I... Yeah, but remember what I already said, believe means to accept things you do not know or cannot prove. Yeah, but the only way to know it is, is, is to believe it and if to it happens, it happens. Yeah. Right, but no one's gone there and come back and said this is what happens. So. Well, you never know. The way we're coming to end of times now, so... No, no, I'm saying throughout the history of the Bible, mm. from Genesis till now, where the book of Revelation is now, right? Mm. Say it or the last 6,000 years, no one has died to come back. Yeah, but... And, I mean, and gave an explanation yeah, but times of that we're living the description in, that the Bible says get heaven is. Now, the times that we're living in, I feel like that, that will happen very soon. See, so you keep saying, I feel like that will happen very <laughs> but what soon. Is the, but what is the, what's the, I can't say I know, because I don't know, but... Uh, do you know what That's I mean? That's what I'm like, saying, <laughs> that when you, when you break down... The reason I'm yeah. asking you is because... As a Christian, when you break these things down, mm. they don't make any sense. It doesn't make sense because, like, one, what do people do in heaven? If they're not going to suffer no more, they're going to not 
They're going to live forever. It's, it's an a utopia. What does that mean? A utopia, a paradise. Paradise. But your vision of a paradise is what? What does paradise... You don't have to work no more. Right, but that's what I'm saying. If you're not going to go to work, what are you going to do? Everything will just be there for you. And, yeah, you know, but I'm saying, do you, do you sleep? Do you eat? Do you walk around? Do you go to... What do you do? I'm assuming so. See, that's an assumption. Because <laughs> I don't know, but I, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Right. This is the difference between Wolf Sabat. What I believe in, I just hope is true. See, that hope is not... <laughs> you see, like, you can hope yeah, all you want hope. and believe all you want, but it doesn't make it true. Yeah, but that's the whole point of it. It doesn't make it true. But you, you got to have some kind of hope or belief. That's Why? What Why about. do you have to have belief? Because if you don't, then, 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 then what's the point? What's the point of what? What's the point in general? That doesn't make sense. It does. What's the so point? The, what's the point of existing if you don't believe in nothing? Or I but you don't have to believe something. in anything to exist. Um, I exist, and I don't do or accept well, beliefs. I mean, we, there are many people on the planet that exist that don't believe in the Bible, the Quran, the Talmud, Christianity, yeah, Judaism, Judaism, or yeah, but Judaism. Christianity, they're or, backwards. See, that's for you to say that. Not like that, but... No, no, sorry. but they will say the same for you. Yeah, but, How can Judaism be backwards when Jesus said, right, according mm. to Christianity, not one jot or tittle mm. shall be changed from the law. And the law came by way of Judaism, which is Leviticus, the Levit Levitical laws. Mm. The book of Leviticus deals with the law. And Jesus said not one word should be changed. So it can't change. If anything, the New Testament is renewing or trying to change God's words because they're giving you stuff that's not in the Old Testament and saying this is now mm. the new way of doing things. It's like no, remixing a song. I take back what I said, I what I said about the Jews are backwards because to be honest with you, from because um, I mean, was it not originally? I don't know. From what I've been told. From people outside of the church, like you know, um, the people that believe in like black spiritualism and all that sort of stuff, um, wasn't Judaism the first? What do we call it? What? Weren't they not the first um, set of people before the Christianity and all that sort of stuff came into it? That's what I'm saying. Testament. That these books are copies; they're not mm. original. So Judaism, as you're calling, is mm. really the plague rise mm. books from the ancient Sumerian texts, mm. you know, the Anunnaki texts, the Enuma Elish, the Gilgamesh mm. epics, tablets of Atana, the many, many tab that, that existed way before the Bible came along. Mm. So the Bible, what people are calling the Bible, even that mm -hmm. is really what People call the Bible, they don't realise it's a composition of different books. Mm. Like, the Torah is different. Mm. The Torah is just the five books of Moses. And what Moses taught is not mm. what's being taught today. You see, and many, many books and letters and writings of men have been added into the book. Right. And a lot of books have been taken out. And many Christians don't know that. The, the Book of Enoch, for example. There are many books, the Book of Wars, the Book... There's so many books that are not in the Bible, that yeah. have information mm. that predate the Bible that people haven't read. Mm. Yeah, so to answer your question, the Old Testament, the, the five books of Moses, i.e. Genesis, Exodus, Deuteronomy, mm. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Numbers, and Leviticus are those five books, mm. all the rest. And then the book of Psalms is, is a different book, you see. So, yeah, a lot of Christians don't, they just go to church every Sunday, mm and they listen to a sermon, and they get taught the same things over and over and over again, hmm. and they just believe them and accept and think that I'm going to heaven, and if I'm bad, I'm going to hell, but then you can't be good all the time. As you said, if somebody pushes you, you're going to not turn the other cheek. You're gonna do something that would be considered to be bad in their world, but yet they teach you to be just good all the time, and hmm. you can't be. But the reality is you need to come away from all of that to knowing mm. this is what we teach as, you know, Wu Sabat.
because mm. Wolf Sabat is the future. This mm. is the new world that people are afraid of mm. when we're talking about the book of Revelations because mm. it tells you there's going to come a time mm -hmm. when these old ways are going to go and mm. there will be a new song, a new way, and um, whether or not you want to choose to accept it or not, mm. it's the reality. Mm. And that's, that's why we're here. Mm. You know, and um, in the scriptures it says, when someone comes to you to say they're of God, you must test that spirit. Yep. Right? You have to test. Yeah. I, Sorry. I we're going to get emojis for Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to test them. Mm. And a test, how do you test someone? It's like when you go to school or college or university or whatever, you get given information mm. and then at some point you're tested to know if you know what you're talking about or if you can comprehend what you've studied. See, and a lot this of people, is why you have to study the Bible. You have to study the scriptures. See, a lot of people would run to go to church when they hear that a new pastor's in town so they can get hands laid on them. Mm. Uh, me, and I I remember you know, kind of energy that they transform. All right. There was this um there was this girl right here, right? Um right, it came to light that she was actually um a ritualist. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and um, I found out this because I'm a very nosy person. Right. Now, I wasn't praying or anything, but... Um, yeah, you she... were nosy, but you weren't praying. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. No, no, no. So, no, yeah. no. So, obviously, I went around there with my mate, and I realised she was so keen on me eating and drinking. Yeah. <laughs> but... My mother always says that everywhere you go, you must work with your belly. You understand? Right? <laughs> Can you not now, work with your belly? Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, right? no, I was I was hungry, but you know what? Right? Um, the bathroom was upstairs and she forgot to close her bedroom. Mm. Right? And I went upstairs here, yeah, right? And I was just going to the bathroom, her bedroom, like, was inside. I just literally, like, you know, looked inside like that, right? You know? And I saw, right? Candles, and I'm not talking about specific candles. They were red, black, and there was red strings. And I saw someone's picture, right, in a bottle. It was a picture. I didn't know who it was a guy or girl, but there's a picture in a bottle, mm. right? And um, I saw a picture next to the bottle with the eyes cut out, mm. right here. Yeah. And we were eyes, yeah, like eyes, like eyes, like no, that like eyes, like I said, like eyes, the picture, the eye put, like the face part of the picture was cut out. Oh, the picture, yeah, yeah. okay, so like, it wasn't real, real eyes, yeah, or yeah. And then <clears throat> when I um saw these things, it was like, um, you know, um, these um, these talisman things, right? So that's why you think she's a ritualist. What I saw was not. Someone of God, as a son, if you are in church, you're not supposed to be involved in those kind of things, right? Yeah, but that's and a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's like, um, you can say you're not supposed to this or you're not supposed to that, and everyone just fights and argue amongst no, but themselves. No, I saw something else, right? I but saw a D, I saw D. Lawrence book, okay? I saw D. Lawrence there, mm. right? D. Lawrence book, and when I saw that, I'm a Jamaican, right? <laughs> I'm from Jamaican heritage, I know what that means, right? right? So when I saw that, but like, I didn't want to go to the toilet in the end. I, I literally, I think I wet myself by the time I got home, mm. right? When I got to the door because it, I couldn't hold it anymore, mm. right? I'm sorry, I wet myself. I did, right? <laughs> I said to my friend, right, we need to go. And mm. he was like, oh. So basically, I, your point is that not any and anybody can come and touch you and yeah. people run to these people thinking they're holy and, exactly. and they could be Because she came to me a few times to me, no. I want to talk to you, I'd like to pray for you. Yeah. Give me a hand. And I don't know. This is how there are many demonic spirits, that's what we say, that no, when you I say test, 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 test the spirit, mm. this is what you have to do to no, know if what they're telling you. No, but I feel that, because yeah. I, I know that I'm strong-willed. I know I'm strong-willed. Right. Because um, there was, you know these people, I'll come to that in a minute. Mm. Because, because like I said, when she tried to hold my hand out like that, yeah, I, shook my hand, I said to her, don't touch me, I said to her. I said, do not touch me. Right. And then a week later, she said, what was that all about? You know, I, I said, I don't know. I, I, I just felt that it just wasn't supposed to happen at that time. Yeah. Right? Something deep down... Right, no, you're me. making a point because a lot of these, um, when you go to churches mm -hmm. and people say they want to pray for you or want to touch you or hold you and you don't know what demonic entities mm -hmm. they may possess because 
you may have people that are possessed with demonic entities. Mm. And, and like I said, you're dealing with energy mm. and it's an exchange of energy. Mm. This is why when we say, when you go to like the Pentecostal churches, mm. for example, where they start to foam in the mouth and they like saying that they've caught the Holy Ghost and they start to, some of them throw themselves on the floor. Yeah. It's Ugh. because of these demonic <laughs> entities that are possessing them. <laughs> and they're saying they've received the Holy Spirit. How do you tell when it's a demonic entity or demonic spirit mm. from a Holy Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit doesn't make you in an uncomfortable state. Yeah, when you're jumping you, around yeah, and, and, and speaking what they call tongues, <laughs> mm. but they don't know what they're talking because it's, it's really translated as gibberish mm. because it's the fusion of a demonic entity. Mm. And some people don't know this, but this is what they're doing when they're mm. calling on this unholy ghost and they're getting these demons possessing them in church. And they think it's a good thing, but it's actually a bad thing. So you're mm. right to be very careful who you let, who you're allowed to lay hands on you, pray for you, and all these types of things. Well, she was exposed because, um, like I said, when I went to her house, right, and it was just like, you know, it, it, it was just, I felt darkness. Like, you know, there's like a big, heavy cloud there, right? <laughs> but again, you see, what you feel and what you think, again, this darkness. No, I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, that's what I I'm did, saying, you I didn't feel mm. comfortable. But to make it, like, darkness, it's like black. No, it's like dark. That's what it was because Yeah, yeah but what I'm know, saying is mm. I'm trying to explain something mm. to you that with what you're taught, yeah. you're taught that God is good and God is white and God wears white and the devil wears black. Mm. So when people say dark and white, or you know, just as goes into a lot of racism as well. Mm. So no, but I'm that's trying been... to explain that to you that sometimes using that word mm. you have to realise there are tricks being played as well. No, of course, but yeah. that feeling that I felt, as I said, right? When I was at that girl's house, right, it my feeling was confirmed. Yeah, right. It wasn't very positive. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't positive. Wasn't negative. And Do you have any other questions? Um, cause I know oh. you or oh no, those those were asked earlier on. Okay. But um, it was confirmed, and do you know what I mean? Because you know, I mean, dealerance. What are you doing with dealerance? What are you doing with it? Yeah. Because I know with dealerance, there ain't nothing good in it. Because well, well, is what like I'm saying, but, but the thing is, yeah, you see this whole good and bad and devil and God thing. It's like one person might consider something to be bad and somebody else will consider the same thing to be good. But I hear you, but she obviously considered dealer to be good. And I'm asking you, right, are you from a Jamaican background? Yeah, okay. partly. Okay, so well, if you're from Caribbean, you should know well, what it is. We're really, that's why we, we changed the term Jamaican, African, and all that, we say we're Sabians or Nuapians. Well, we're all Africans anyway. Exactly. Black, That's, but, it's, be it's better to, to use but, that term because it's a division thing. But go on. Like I said, right, D. Lawrence, there's nothing good about D. Lawrence. I'm sorry to say. D. Lawrence, from my understanding of D. Lawrence, right, D. Lawrence is, is, is a demonic spirit, right, where, you loan, where he loans you, or, um, the spirit loans you stuff, and you have to, you know... Yeah, but what I'm saying to you is... Someone would say that about God. No, but, no, but I'm talking that, about this I'm right saying, now. I know, but I'm, I hear you and I'm saying just different people in different religions or different denominations do things that are demonic. No, I, but like, for example, right, Catholic Church and the Protestant and the Anglican and what you follow, do you believe in drinking the blood of Christ and eating his flesh? Oh, the communion? Yeah, do you accept that? Yes. <laughs> why, why, why would you want to drink the blood of Christ? Why would you want to drink blood? And why would you eat something symbolically being his body? Because, why would you eat his flesh? Because it's what Christ did, apparently. Christ, Christ but, ate the flesh of... No, but he drank the wine and the bread or whatnot. No, no, like but that. it's not blood. Though, because they say that this is the blood of Christ. And they say this is the flesh of Christ. That is eating... That's cannibalism. <laughs> well... I'm trying to show you how easy, that's necromancy. This is where, like, the whole thing of eating and eating humans or eating flesh and drinking blood. And yeah, you start to look at where that comes from. Yeah, but, it goes back into the occult, as you were saying before. Yeah, but yeah? I hate all that. But Which is really dealing with Wicca and, you know, the Celts or the Celtics, yeah. Wiccan religion. Yeah, Wiccanism, Which yeah. is we're going into now, into Halloween, 
which is what is the practices of those witches and warlocks. Yeah, but what is your understanding? You just moved on from what I was talking about earlier on. What yeah, and I'm just saying, what you were talking about in terms of people laying their hands on you, no, and then you about. spoke about this woman doing the demonic stuff. No, but what I want to know is, so I'll move on from that. Okay. I want to know, what is your understanding of deliverance? Because you said some people may perceive it as bad. Some no, no I would, as my good. point was about good and bad. No, and I know, but what, some people may perceive yeah. right, dealerance as good, I'm saying. But yeah. we all know, if you know, you're from a Caribbean background, you have that, a sense to know that. That's why I was saying to nothing. you about there were people who worshipped the devil. Yeah, and but, who, the reason they worshipped the devil is because they believe the devil is more good or truthful than God. But sir, my question is, yeah. What is your understanding of dealerance? That's what I want to know. What is your understanding? My 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 yeah. understanding doesn't even come into it because I, I don't want to have an opinion. No, uh, okay. no I'm saying that's an, that's your opinion. No, but of, try not to have an opinion. Then. No, um, but what I'm saying is, what's about? We just deal with the facts of no, something. I hear you. So, so I don't want. I, I don't want. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. I'm not going to start talking about. It's like that's why I'm trying to mm. go to a point where I'm saying to you, people who do what you're doing, as in have a position or an opinion or deal with a belief or not a belief, they can say they believe the devil is good. Hey. Well, you say that and you do that, but in the Bible, God is doing a lot of wicked things, telling people to sacrifice and kill people and do things, and he's killing and wiping people. That's not considered to be good. Yeah, But, but, but the Bible, the devil... Like and say the whole. Yeah, but when God, no, but when God told Abel or who, or whatever was, um, to, or whoever the story goes, to sacrifice, right? God came and just when the guy was about to sacrifice his son, and that was a test to see if you really do love and believe in God. God well, what tested about the bit where they're sprinkling blood and killing animals or so sacrifices all over the Bible throughout the whole Bible? You can read the whole book of Leviticus. It's talking about a lot of. Yeah, but that's killing, different. That's different. Even animals. even killing. No, even even humans. It tells you that. That's what I'm saying. Like there are many things that are being done in the Bible that people are considered to be good, okay. and it's bad. And then the devil, like, okay, in the Bible, when the devil told Adam and Eve that if they eat of the fruit, their eyes were going to be open and they weren't going to die, but God told them they were going to die if they eat the fruit. That was a serpent. That the, the, the sea was the devil. Right there, you go. You see, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're saying the serpent, but. The devil it doesn't comes in many say forms. that in the Bible. The devil comes in many forms. No, but who created the devil? I could be the devil, you could be the devil. But and who the, created I mean? the devil? God. He was Does one, that make sense He you? was God, one of God's chief lieutenants. Right, so God created the devil. Well, look. Right. Now I'm just asking a question. If God created the devil and God knows everything, that means God knew the devil was going to do devilishness. As I said, God give free will. They had free no, will. No, but that's what they I'm saying. But you don't have do free will because you get judged when you do the wrong things. Well, you go to hell if you do the wrong things. If you don't choose to do what God wants you to do, that's meaning you're going to hell. Okay, so so you are not. You don't have free will. Yeah, but so what I'm saying is, I asked a question earlier on, and you say you don't give an opinion. I'm saying to you. Uh, yeah, the reason that the reason I'm not giving an opinion is but, because I'm, I'm saying to you. But sir, I hear all that. But it doesn't matter. Asking you, yeah. try not to be opinionated if you can. Because uh, but, but but you're okay. You're it's like you're saying to me, don't be opinionated. But then you're asking me a question which has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Which is, if we're dealing with the word of God, yeah, we deal with the facts on the word of God. Okay, but if I we're dealing with me and what I accept, I deal with Wu Sabat. Yeah. If you're asking me, do I consider a particular act to be? Wicked or disagreeable. No, that's not what I'm asking. I'm right. asking what is your understanding of D. Lawrence. I'm asking you. No, well, whether you think it's good or bad. I don't care because you say you don't. You can't give an opinion. Yeah. I just want to know All what right. is your it's, understanding it's, it's, of it. It's considered negative or bad. That's what I'm saying. But I'm trying to keep trying to come to mm. you like saying like there are people like the Church of Satan. Mm. There are people. There's an actual church called the Church of Satan who consider the devil or Satan to be better than God mm. because of what the actions of God is, which I've just given you a few examples, mm. like the, the, the flooding of the world, killing innocent people. Mm. The, there's so many things that God does, mm. even the Sodom and Gomorrah story, mm. the Lot 
um, you know, story. There are many stories in the Bible that if you look at you, you'll be like, this God is being very wicked and evil. <laughs> but no, Christians don't want to look at that side of it or accept that side of what they're calling or considering to be good or a good being. Okay, so with saying that, what do you feel about, I mean, what do you, what is your understanding of Freemasons and all that sort of stuff and Illuminati? Because obviously, the other day, yeah. I, um, I was, I actually found myself in the Freemason Museum. Okay. And I realised everybody was wearing black mm. and there was symbols, yeah. right? And when I heard um, someone saying, oh, um, today is the day that I actually fully joined the Masons. Yeah. I checked and I said, excuse me, what is this place? So you're in a Freemason. So you consider Freemasonry to be bad? Well, I don't think they're good. Right. You There's don't think society, they're good. But, but, yeah, but, but listen, you're, you've asked me a number of questions. No, and I'm trying to answer it. In your question, right, the first thing you have to know is what is a Mason. Yeah, but when I will find that I was in there... Yeah, no, but it, listen to what I'm saying. What is a Mason? I'm getting to that. Okay. When I find out that I was in there... Um, when you say in there, in there where? I was in the, the museum, I said. Okay, that, in yeah, the museum. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I literally dropped everything and I ran out. I literally okay. ran out and... I but, but what is a museum? They, ha they were had we were talking about the history and that sort of stuff. Right, but you can go to the history museum? No, well... You, can, you can go to the science museum? I was in I'm the just showing you about different museums and what museums do, right? Museums present or have information, yeah, or artefacts or things that are in the past. But as I said, when I found out I was there, I ran out because I don't want to be part of anything that's... The, the no, I'm saying it was just a museum for you to look and study and see things. Yeah, but the, the, that, that's not you partaking or becoming a part of it, mm -mm. is it? It's, the, it's, it's the, like going to the history museum. It's the spirits yeah, but you, that they're evoking. It's either you're going to listen to what I'm saying or we're not going to really get nowhere. Because you're asking me a question, I'm trying to answer it. I'm saying, if you went to the history museum and it was telling you about slavery and all the things, the gruesome things that they did during slavery and they have the different you know, artefacts of what they used to do to people. Just because you go to the museum, yes, you're going to have a eerie feeling or like you might not like what you're seeing, but the point of you going to a museum is to study and look at these things and to learn about what took place. No, but I wasn't, now, actually, when going I'm saying to, about, but I wasn't actually going to a museum. I actually wanted to actually, you know, use the loop to pee. And You'll be nosy I, again. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I found out that was the place. So you just stumbled into the museum by accident? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. I didn't look at the signs. I just saw that it looked like a. But anyway, let me answer the church. question. There's good and bad, or yeah. what people consider good and bad in everything, mm. right? What people are calling masonry, mm. that's why I asked you, do you know what a mason is? A mason is a, a stone builder or somebody that works with stone, right? So this bricklayers will be considered to be mason because they deal with masonry. What you're talking about with like Hollywood and mm. the Illuminati and the yeah. demonic practices mm. are completely separate to what real true masonry was about, mm. which is about, remember I told you about at the beginning we mentioned the God where we mm. said, or Gad, or the yeah. grand architect of the universe, mm -hmm. right? And that was talking about how you build things. So the people that were building like the pyramids in ancient Egypt were considered to be masons, mm. yeah? And the first mason is somebody they call Nimrod, mm. right? Who was the son of Cush, when you study the Bible and study his genealogy, right? Mm. And he was a builder because they talk about the Tower of Babel, etc., that was built by mm. him, right? Mm. So I'm saying to you that things start off or can be good mm. and then they get perverted and, and turned into something bad. Just like there's original way of the person they call the Messiah, which became Jesus the Christ, which became Christianity, which now teaches something completely different to the original way of life. Mm. Just the same way as in Islam, where the original way was Muslim or ones of peace that lived in a peaceful way and mm. did things in a particular way. And the minute Muhammad left, it, that got perverted and changed. And now men and people start to do things that today people consider terrorism killing, murders, etc., mm. by way of their religion, 
is the same way with what people are calling Masons today, yeah, but where they've perverted it. The bombers it are extremists, they're not really Muslims, so people Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, but to them, Muslims. they will say they're Muslim. And I disagree. And they will say, Allahu Akbar, and... Yeah, you would disagree, because to you, what they're doing is bad. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying... People say Muslims are bombers and all that sort of stuff. Not all Muslims. I'm, trying to, I'm yeah. trying to get to that. I'm saying people say Muslims are all bombers and that. But what I'm saying is I don't agree with it because it's not Muslims. Because I know a lot of Muslims. I've got a lot of Muslim friends. And they're actually some of the most loveliest people I've ever met, to be honest with you. Yeah, right? you're saying the same thing I'm, I'm saying. I'm oh, saying there yeah. are good Muslims who mm -hmm. practice Islam as a peaceful way of life. Yeah. Just the crusaders in Christianity went around killing and doing exactly. horrible things, yeah? So what I'm saying to you is... And they've done a lot worse. Exactly, and it's still going on until today. Even in Israel and Palestine mm. now, they're fighting and killing each you other, see? right? So what I'm saying is, what Wusabat does is teach you a peaceful way of life. No, but it predates all of them. No, but I feel people need to understand the difference between Muslims and extremists. That's what I wanted to Absolutely. say. Absolutely. There's extremists and, in every religion. I, well, yeah. But, um, do, do you know what I mean? Things like that. And because, um, like I said, I've got aunties and cousins um, that are Muslims. And... Um, no, but you're saying... We're saying the same thing. I'm just explaining to you that just the same way there are people who are extremists in any religion is the same way with what you're calling masonry yeah. that you have extremists who do things that go against the original way of what a builder is, because that Nimrod was considered to be, you know, a builder. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, yeah. right, I get offended when people say things about Muslims, because, like I said, as well as my friends, I've got family and aunties, that cousins and aunties that are Muslims, I'm yeah. saying, and they don't live I don't that... No, I agree they, with you. They, and they, there are people they, that they, do they, the same they, with Christians. They don't live that kind of lifestyle. And, um, you know, I, for one, won't stand like, you know, I got into an argument with someone on, um, I, I didn't drive to work, I took the train to work the other day, and I was actually going to punch the guy in his face because the guy was actually discriminating against a Muslim lady with her daughter and her son there. And, you know, he said to her, oh, have you got a bomb in the bag? And we, everyone looked at each other and the lady ignored him and, you know, was trying to look after her babies. And he still said, excuse me, can I see what's in your bag? Mm. So I was on the start, I said to him, what did you just say to her? And the lady was like, what do you mean? I said, miss, it's fine. I've got this. I said, why do you, why do you need to see what's in her bag? He said, oh, because um, my life is at risk. Mm. So if your life is at risk, I said, get off. I said, get off the train. The train's about to stop. And I get off. I said, I said to him, he said, oh, I'm not getting off. I said, so what's in her bag? I threw my, but my, point, my point is, a lot of the wars that are going on and the... The, the, the government the is planet, to move it. Huh? The government is to do with it. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is that you do have extremists in every religion. Yeah, but because of this, and, and I'm people be discriminated against. And I don't of like course. it. It's like black people are discriminated against all the time because of stereotypes. Well, all the time. Right. So what I'm saying is this is the reason why we in Musabat come away from religion. Because religion creates more ignorance and more wars and more fighting than anything else. Well, I try to follow God. I don't try to. I don't try to follow religion. Like I mean, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, but you say that. But your governance of what you do every day is based on what? I try to. How do you follow God? I try to live Christ like life, Christ like minded. Like you know, it says in. But the where's book, the manual? It says for in the Book of Ephesians, "Let it might be you that is also in Christ." I try to practice that, but yeah. uh, to an extent. But you said just now, yeah, about you don't want any and anyone touching you. But the people who wrote that book, do you know who wrote that book? Yeah, but sir, it's important. You know why? Because you're you're following a book or following somebody's writings. Not the writings. I'm just trying to follow God. Like I said, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, but you're following it sir, through the I'm book. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to do good shit. That's what I'm trying to say to you. But at the same time, yeah. Like, do you, do you know what, I mean? what I'm trying to say is right. No one's perfect. I try to be good. Okay, and, and that's, that's the best you can do. Just try to do the good thing. Try the to do word, the right thing. The thing of being good is subjective, and that's the point I'm trying to make to you. Like, a, someone who's saying, I'm going to strap a bomb on myself and go and blow up a building for a cause that I consider to be good. Like, for example, if they feel like injustice is by, a, say, a particular government, mm. yeah, whether it's a Western government, which they consider to be a Christian country, is bombing our country, right? And now I'm defending my beliefs mm. 
to them, they're doing a good thing. I'm not saying it's a good mm. thing. I'm just showing you how people think, right? Mm. So they're saying, this country is dropping bombs on my country, mm. and this is a Muslim... Um, my country is a Muslim country, mm. and this, say, United States or America or whatever, mm. they are a Christian country. Mm. So it's like you've got the wars going on between two countries that believe in two different religions, mm. and they both will say... They're doing it for their God mm. or for, their, for Allah, right? And they're both wrong and they're killing each other. And it's like, but if you both say you follow the religion of Abraham, mm. who's the patriarch of the monotheistic religions, why are you killing each other? Because you're, you're, father, you're brothers at the end of the day, you're brothers and sisters, you're human, but you're still fighting each other and killing each other over religion. And that doesn't make any sense. Me personally, I feel that all this religion crap and all this fight against each other, bull crap, needs to just come to an end. So if we if we all want to, you know, fight people, we, the the House of Parliament is where you should start off with. Start with the Conservatives. Go to them, the politicians. Well, that's yeah, that's. I say definitely. politicians, not politicians, politicians. Yeah. Like we need to go to them, them, and also um, what's the um the the the, the um, Buckingham Palace? Because that's where the problem is. You understand? With these people, they're the ones causing the problems. So and that's that's what we're about. We we don't get involved with religion in that sense. The only reason, the way we get involved with religion, is to teach people the facts and the truth of these religions mm. and where they come from, what's their origins, so that if you really truly want to know, yeah, the actual facts mm. and want to know the truth of how you should be living and what's your purpose, mm. so that we can all live in peace, mm. then you have to. You have to learn and come away from religion and deal with all sabbat. If you want to, if mm. you choose to. But I say have to, but that would be the best way. Mm. And if you don't, that's up to you. And that's why you have to test the spirit. You have to test the person to know whether or not what they're telling you is of God and if it makes sense of the true God. Mm. But again, that's where you have to learn what is God, who is the true God. Mm. So do you know, or would you accept that these gods are extraterrestrials? <laughs> I haven't got an answer. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough answer. Mm. Be do you know why I use the word extraterrestrial? Because they're not from here. They're somewhere else. Um, God is not here. God is an extraterrestrial. That's why I was saying to you, it's important to know when we're saying God, who are we talking about? Because these extraterrestrials that live in these other places that I mentioned to you before, mm. they're coming here to this planet. They're the ones that are doing the things that are recorded in these religious books. Mm. And they're the ones that like people to fight and kill each other and this kind of thing. And they get people to worship them, mm. thinking they're worshipping a good God when some of these extraterrestrials are not good. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think um, you've, you've asked all your questions. Mm -hmm. I think we've had a good conversation. <laughs> um, and at the end of the day, you're brave, you know, because you're willing to have a conversation. Mm. Some people, it's taboo to even talk about these things, mm -hmm. like questions like, who wrote the Bible? When did they write it? What's yeah. the words? What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Where's God? Where's hell? Like, where are you going? Like, yeah. people that are religious, they find it uncomfortable because they don't know when you start to ask the questions. That's what they you're, But you're supposed to know. Yeah. That's why at least you're yeah. willing to be tested. Mm. And that's why we ask questions. And I'm also willing to learn as well. Yeah, that's the key. That's, I mean, the, that's the key to learn. And we're all learning. I'll be honest, like your yeah. culture, I've never really heard of it, so I'd like to learn more about it, to be honest. I've, okay. you know, yeah. So, yeah. The first thing to do, actually, um, I might, so I've got it with me. Yeah, I actually do. This is why we put a book together. Okay. This book is called Fast Track Your Spiritual and Conscious mm -hmm. Journey because it makes you open your mind to mm. think and like, research and study these things. Mm. And this is quite small. We made it compact so that it's not too heavy, mm. gets you started. You mm. learn about our culture, about our mm. teacher, and even further than this, we have an online course mm. which you can do in your own time, you know, mm. like it's interactive and you get tested and then mm. you do your research. Mm. And then like you say, each one teach one. That's mm. what we're doing here. Everyone learns from each other, 
mm. we get to then start to look at, okay, what's the answer? What's the solution? Mm. And that's, for us, it's water back. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right, it's been a pleasure. Definitely. Thank you so much. No, no problem. Thank you for coming <laughs> through. All right. Rahul Bat or greetings. I'm Saken from Ask Us Anything, where we like to have great conversations, dialogue, and reason. Um, you know, each one teach one. So if you're someone who would like to come and have these conversations, um, send us a video asking three questions so we can get a feel for what, um, you know, what you want to talk about. And, you know, we're in Croydon, Nashat, 101 Church Street. Um, and we've had great conversations with different people discussing all kinds of topics. And we'll be really, you know, looking forward to speaking to anyone who wants to come and have a one-to-one -one, um, and have a, yeah, and have a conversation about anything. So, yes, if you would like to do that, the link is below. Send us a video um, with yourself asking me or us three questions and then we will get back in touch.